Hey everyone, it's Aunt Will the Comic Geek here, and where we review things based on comics. So, 2014, 2014 is wrapping up, so, and tonight the ball will drop, and yeah. So, I want to get something down first. I want to get to my favorite things of 2014, which means things based on comics, like movies. I only found 11 of them because I couldn't find one more for a top 12, so this is top 11. So, this is the, so let's dive into my favorite movies of 2014. This is the top 11 things, I mean top 11 movies based on comics of 2014. Now, Godzilla is one of my favorite movie monsters. He's the king of the monsters also. I like what they did to him, this new version of him. It's like he's, and he fights a monster in this one. Yes, finally. Well, anyway, he's, his atomic breath was good. His, but he's bigger than all the other versions of him. So let's move on. Now I know what you're thinking. Batman has a son? Yeah, that's one. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I said the same thing. So, anyway, watch the movie, find out. I'm not going to spoil anything if you guys want to watch it. Or for some of you that did watch it, well, I can't say it. But I'm going to review that soon. Anyway, Damian Wayne is the new Robin in this one. Yes, we all know that. And it's a good thing, too. He should stay the main Robin from now on. Like, everyone else quit as Robin. So anyway, let's move on. Batman of Salkin Arkham is, the, is where the Suicide Squad come in. And also, this is the... This is part... This movie is part of the Batman Arkham game. If you guys don't know if you guys know what that is, then you're in for a treat. This is this movie takes place before Batman Arkham Asylum. Yes. This takes place before Batman Arkham Asylum. That game came out. But anyway, let's move on. Anyway, Transformers Age of Extinction. Yeah, I like this one. The fight scenes were awesome, and then, and like in every Transformers movie, there's always explosions everywhere. My two favorite Autobots are Trans- are, I'm sorry, my two favorite are Autobots are, well actually, Transformers are Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. They're both awesome, and you know it. Their new looks are good, Bumblebee changed, Again, just like in the first film, changes his, changes his look like in the first film, and the Dinobots finally they show up. I've been waiting to see them. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that movie. Next, now. Robocop. I like Robocop's new look. His new look and well the origin was different, but but it still holds up. They stick with the original origin uh, kind of. But yeah, it was good. Especially like the like that motorcycle instead of using that cop car every t like in the other movie. And also he has new weapons this time. And he has a real hand and a robot hand this time. And I like that helmet where like like Iron Man's helmet, like like that. <laughs> and I also 
liked the Ed 209s. Yeah, they were good. And what was that? What was the other thing I wanted to, wanted to tell you guys about? Um, yeah, he runs fast now. Just like in, like in, the, in the old version of him. Yeah, he moves so slow. He moves so slow. Next. So, X-Men Days of Future is past. I like it. Xavier has that hover chair instead of a wheelchair. Can't believe that all these years he's still in that wheel. He's still crippled after he was shot between the legs. Well, we're there in the back part. But I like the X-Men's new future looks and I love the Sentinels. Yes, finally we we see them. We can get a glimpse of the of those Sentinels in X-Men The Last Stand. Well, like, yeah. The new Sentinels and the old Sentinel, yeah, it was, it was good. And the last part, where Apocalypse, I, I'm waiting to see that one. Next. Okay, so anyway, Captain America the Winter Soldier. Well, I like this movie. It had Batroc the Leaper, the Winter Soldier, well, obviously. Falcon. Well, actually, Batroc was, doesn't leap around like usually. I don't even... I don't know his origin story anyway. Also, we all knew it was Bucky. Because practically Bucky is the Winter Soldier. We all knew that was coming. Anyway, next. Oh, and I also like Falcon. Falcon had a rocket jet on his thing. Yeah, on those wings. Anyway, and the fight scenes were good. Next. Okay, this one I like the most. I never heard of Guardians of the Galaxy until a couple of months later. Well, Bradley Cooper played Rocket Raccoon and Vin Diesel played Groot. I cannot believe he would play a character that only says one word. I am Groot. Yeah. And the Nova Corps, they're the same thing as the Green Lantern Corps, by the way. Anyway... Let's move on. This is the best one yet. I was going to pick this as number one, but... Nah. So anyway, the Shredder's new look, he throws knives. I like Splinter's look, because, well, yeah, he was... And the Ninja Turtles new looks instead of wearing instead of them having all skin all over them, they have like gears on them. Yeah. We know that Donnie is technical and science stuff. And he has all that technology on his all over him. Yeah, that's good. Anyway. All of them were good. Especially hate the part where Megan Fox keeps screaming. Don't worry, we'll review this movie soon. Anyway, next This movie is just like the Avengers movie a little bit, but in animated form. Yeah, I like this movie because it was awesome, and it's a little bit based on the Avengers, a little bit, but it's good. And Justice League War is based off of this comic book. Yeah, this one I have right here. Justice League origin of how they came together. Since it's, new 50, since it's the new 52, they come together differently. Okay, I have one thing. One, well, actually three things. One, they replaced they replaced Aquaman in, with Shazam. Two, Aquaman is going to be in the second movie, Throne of Atlantis. And three, 
Cyborg should not be part of the Justice League. He should, he's part of the Teen Titans, so why can't they kick him off and put Martian Manhunter in this? We'll review this movie soon. Next. Now, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is the number one movie I love, because I like Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man. It's he's my he's one of my most favorite superheroes of all time. I liked it, and they finally put his normal costume in this second part of this of this series of this movie. They better make the Amazing Spider-Man three. Oscorp is behind everything. I think they're gonna. We'll explain this movie soon. We'll review this movie soon. But it's awesome. The Green Goblin, Electro, and the Rhino. Don't get me started on the last part of the movie. And anyway, that's all I have for today. I'm at Willa Comic Geek, and have a and have a blessed New Year. I'll see you guys later.